outer orange. Welcome to the stream. So today we're doing another yoinking twist. We are taking the tier list from the Vanguard tier list god. I might as well just call him that because I think I've taken almost every tier list from him, but that is curly haired hero. And we're going to be tier ranking today, like the cool kids that we are right here. As you guys know, we have had 10 sets of overdress. It's been some time now, 10 main sets. We've had some collabs and side sets and, and we have set 11 dropping. We just had festival collection drop. You know what we haven't done? yet we haven't talked about overdress since day one how does each one of these sets stack up how do they feel what are they do they just you know add a collab set to your i'm probably gonna do that look a bit alex but yeah we've never i personally have never actually uh kind of looked at the sets from like a grand scheme of things can be flame on curly's bad takes again no i though no, i did watch this video and he put set one lyrical in not great and i don't know why and that has the set one perfect guards in it and the and the ot's how do you put the set one lyrical set in in not great anyway if wait no no we're not gonna flame him this time eric we're good people i, I think he moved this see look at it go look at that spot it went from like mm, it's kind of neat to mm, not so great what do you mean curly what do you mean not so great what did this set do to you this set this set was that set was good but yeah that's why we are here today on stream discussing the greatness that will be the overdress sets yeah previous i forgot like what half of these cards are in these sets i mean i remember the cards i just don't remember what set they're in so we might need to like backtrack here there so learner c.5 tier the mid tier a b c d e get it okay we're good <laughs> genesis of the five greats personally i'm gonna be real with y'all banger set this was the beginning of not only trial deck support but also support for new decks, Zorga was in this. This set brought the new OTs in, which means no more cryomentals. It brought in a bunch of great new decks. It brought in PGs. It brought in triggers, I think, like regular. It's been a second. I'm pretty sure it has triggers in it as well. This this is this is the Boba Mine set, guys. This had Boba Mine in it. This is a good set. It had it had gunning. Dude, a lot of these cards are still staples, by the way. Like, like we, we still got staples in here. The Festival Collection set drop, which was basically just a bunch of uh, ride line reprints and NSP form, triggers reprints, NSP form, and a bunch of really bad cards. I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> uh, it was a reprint set, foil set, and the Child Deck cards. It was cool. Honestly, it was a skip set for me. I'm pretty sure it was a skip set for most of The only time you wanted to do Festival Collection stuff is if you wanted to max out a deck, but why would you max out a deck that soon? I will say one thing that this set did right. One thing, it gave full art triggers. Beautiful. Brush of the Legends. Now, this set is the one that I believe introduced Lenard. We So the issue with early D, yeah, this was the Lenard set, just let me be sure. So the issue with early D is we're having this issue where it was like Bruce, Bastion, and then everything below it was pretty bad. <laughs> nobody, nobody wanted to, nobody wanted to really pull, it, it was kind of in a weird spot. D, it put D in a weird spot for like a split second because people were like, oh, set one, Bruce and Bastion are good. And then, and then Lenard dropped, oh, set two, Bruce and Bastion are good. You know, I feel like early D was kind of rough. I will say there wasn't, um, they, it did introduce the front triggers um, and the front triggers really good. So I'm, I'm going to say that this one is more here um it's it's low learner high bad i think i think maybe here the effect fronts were actually really cool that set three introduced new ride lines if you guys remember this is the gravidia and flagberg set so we're gonna go back in time a little bit here just quickly peek at it just, just do a quick peek see this was now this was kind of like a mix set a little bit derek got juice and people thought like derek was gonna make this broken thing out of the box it, it really ended up not being that actually it made bruce relevant but not like completely broken lenard was still like definitely the problem with the set but i remember there were so many oh my god lenard and, and derek together it's like it's like hell on earth we're all gonna die and that's really not what happened but what i will say is this deck made prison a little better i'm sorry this set made prison better which prison enjoyers probably enjoyed effect triggers were good and i will say though they did introduce some ride lines that were kind of like low-key strong mainly like gravity at the time actually flagberg got stronger a set later but i remember i remember i was one of the people that's kind of upset during the set i was like oh my god more ride lines because we had like older ride lines that still weren't getting support however surprisingly enough it was actually a pretty fun set like we got gravity introduced and that's when like the, everyone started combining gravity and and, and uh, orpheus together we kind of started doing this thing where we're like well we can have one ride line but play a completely different deck so personally i think this is right below this is in the below banger tier so it's not banger it's just right below it it's just it was a, it was a good set 
Uh, it was definitely better than Brush of the Legends because that set was just kind of dookie. Lyrical Monasterio. We did have a Kyrie Trial deck come out, I think, between somewhere here. So it's not on here, I'm pretty sure. But we did have a Kyrie Trial deck come out, which is actually a pretty good trial deck. It wasn't the best, but it was a trial deck. But then right after the trial deck came out the set one of Lyrical Monasterio. And this was the beginning of Catgirl and Ellis Steel and Felty Rosa and Velista, old Velista that some probably don't even know exists because new Velista is just that much more impactful. And this was the introduction of OTs for, for Lyrical Monastero and Bermuda Triangle and the, and the other format, along with Perfect Guards, which they also finally got. And I personally, I think this set was actually banger. I know a lot of people disagree and they'll think like, oh, but there wasn't really that much relevance. I think part of it is because we got it a little bit later than I think ours got delayed. That's we're supposed to get it like, I think like right before set three. And I think we got it after set three, which caused it to be a little delayed. But the set itself is actually good. I think I think it was a good set. It was a lot of fun to play. I think it's a better set. Uh, if you're if you, I actually bought a case from this and I will say if you're going to invest into Lyrical, this is one of the best sets at the time to buy because you just get that set and you have everything. I think it was a well worth the set. I think the Lyrical players really enjoyed the set a lot. It was a good set. It was balanced. Uh, it wasn't overdone. All the decks in it were fun to play with the exception of like maybe Velista. Velista was definitely underpowered. And before the trigger change up happened, the crit trigger happened, Velista was actually topping. And then they changed the, the way the crits worked during this time. This was during the time where you couldn't run 12 crits. So... Uh, you still get slower her, other than triggers, PGs, and bosses. You don't really play much of the other cards anymore. But well, that's not true, though. You do now. Uh, old Lo Lonero, old Valti, old Velista, if you want. Old Clarissa. Uh, everything is actually played in here. There's some old Kyrie cards in here that are still played to this day. Uh, actually, Grade 3 Kyrie Persona is in the set, too. Like, along with her, their, their other support in like, the pretty form. I think this is a good set. That's the bosses. Yeah. Okay, 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 my guy. All right, my guy. We're going we're gonna to go down this path a week. Personally, I think any set that has the beginning of PGs and OTs and triggers is already is already good. But that's just me. I think I think a, be a beginner set like that for a beginner set for its time. I think it was good, especially since it still to this day is used. So we're going to go down the list. So this card is basically a staple. Uh, you can play this in any lyrical deck if you want. Oh, all of the two. You can play any of the bosses. This card's in here, which, by the way, is also a staple. All the PGs are SP'd along with trigger forms of them, so you can get all those versions. All the winter cards are reused in a new uh, Ellis Steel set. Let's see what else we have in here. This card can be used in multiple decks. This card can be used. Actually, it's still used to this day. So, so far, every single card we've seen, with the exception of maybe old Velista, because you can or cannot run it depending on how you build the deck, has been used. So, so far... The first two pages, all SPs, by the way, all used cards, right? So we might start going down to the commons and rares where things might be less used. Kind of like here. Uh, Virginia can still be used. I will say this card is dead. This is a death card. Um, yeah, this is Aerith is still useful if you build towards Persona, depending on how you build. Uh, this is like, this is a staple in Ellis Steel. This is a staple in, in Leonore. This is a staple in Ellis Steel. This is can be a staple. This is used in Patroka. By the way, keep in mind, Patroka is a deck. Uh, this can be used in almost every deck, especially if you're running the Blackwing engine or whatever you choose to do. I don't know, fam. I don't know. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a good set here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a good set. Like, like that was the first four pages, all useful cards. Uh, Re Reese's is in this set. Like, Reese's is used in, in Highlander and in normal, like, just normal, like, premium Bermuda Triangle. I don't know. Banger set. Banger set. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna... I think for us, Token Rambu was really bad, again, for timing-wise, unfortunately. But overall, even if we got it on time, it was just... A pretty rough set <laughs> not gonna lie now we're going into set four which brought us the grade four meta i'm gonna be real banger set this set completely flipped over dress people started really first of all people started really enjoying the game uh this was like kind of this was the difference this is when bruce and bastion were no longer meta so people could actually start playing other decks this was also gravidia meta this is when flagberg started shining inlet came out magnolia was beating face this was the roaming prison dragon set this is a, a, a this was a solid set like it was a fun time like a lot of people like will be like oh it was grade four meta it really wasn't it really it, you could because grade four is took a while so if you played like other decks that played into them really well you'd have a great time prison was meta during this time there was a lot of really fun stuff going on i thought this was a great meta probably one of my favorites in overdress currently i think out of all the metas we've had so far this one was my favorite but even casually like casually speaking the set itself was really good gave a lot of good support for a lot of good decks uh there was just it was just a great time the same set that brought in the b 
SF team that brought three different Gravidia decks. They do not forget that one chat team that were all playing Gravidia. <laughs> They, they all changed their boss card, but the, the, all of them had Gravidia in their deck. It was a great time. It was so funny. Set 2 Lyrical. Now, Set 2 Lyrical, I'm not gonna lie, this is this is the difference between like a good set and a bad set when it comes to Lyrical. Lyrical Set 2 was rushed like crazy. Support was super underwhelming. Uh, they introduced new ride lines for whatever reason, even though the old ride lines really needed help at the time. Yeah, I, I think this was like, honestly here. Like, I hate to say it, and trust me, Fortia's in here. I love Fortia, but yeah, this was this was not it. This was this was not it. I still put it on the same level as set three. Ah, uh, so the, the thing about this set is that there was absolutely no interest for anyone, but like maybe some lyrical players. There was no hype behind the set. Uh, we did get grade four Kyrie. We did get Melty. I, you know what? Okay, fair. We did get Melty in this set. This is a Melty and Eileen, uh, an Eileen set. So we'll, we'll put it a little bit higher. We did get the Grade Four. The Grade Four Kyrie did kind of bring in a new deck into like the into the into the pool of decks of Kyrie players. Started coming, kind of popping up. Kyrie was like actually performing well, so people are actually bringing it in. We have all the effect triggers. You're right. So yeah, we'll throw it in there. This was an effect trigger set, which really helped the Lyrical because that's another reason the Lyrical got so behind. Was the Lyrical went through this situation, which I really hated, and it was like, hey, everybody got effect triggers except <laughs> except lyrical it was like okay cool we'll just sit here with our vanilla friends and our vanilla crits yeah okay <laughs> sure now set five brought in the counter heels pretty sure this is the one that brought in the counter heels this set was like a lot of things wasn't it i actually think this set was kind of good this had a, had a lot going on this was this was as low-key kind of a big set like Meta wise, maybe not so much, but casually, there was a lot of stuff happening in here. And it's kind of hard to think about how much this set has changed things over time. Uh, so, and yes, there is a reference to the original. If you look at the color scheme, it's the color scheme, the font is literally the original one, which is just a really cool, like, history lesson for like Vanguard players. I wasn't around for it, obviously, but it was still really cool to see. So, prices are insane in this one. Holy crap. But I think, I think, I think this was here. Honestly, uh, I'm gonna be real with you. The encounters are actually really fun to play, but we were having this issue where the grade four decks were kind of just more powerful. Uh, but this had the, the counter heals came out in this set, which was a new introduction for it. So it was not again another new mechanic, which is something we're noticing as each set has been coming out. There's been something new or something different coming out, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we got Maple introduced. We got obviously Degra, Ava, Chaos, Rorua, uh, you know, all those, uh, uh Tell you all that stuff got introduced, which was brand new. Uh, but it was a little jank, yes. It was a little jank though. The promos weren't out yet. They, they were they were definitely below average in terms of like competitive wise. Um, but it was really fun to I think it was a it was a fun set to open and play. Personally, I think this one having the encounters was like a perfect time for encounters versus set two, where it was kind of awkward the encounters came out. I think the encounters dropping during around this time was actually pretty cool. cool. The secrets dropped are actually really pretty. Um I think, I think this was a pretty okay set. I know it, I think this did, however, start the promo rivals. This is this is the beginning of promo rivals because when this set dropped, I think it was like what a week or two later, the Ava promo dropped and everyone started freaking out because then the prices started getting kind of crazy and it was just this whole thing that's starting to happen. It wasn't very friendly. Um, it was not a friendly time. So it was it was kind of it was right before Youthberg dropped when, when people started kind of complaining about the promo. So it was definitely a weird time. Festival collection. This is the Orphist Regis set. This set. Again, these festival collection sets, man, it did introduce the other counter heels. However, eh, I'm thinking either here or right in the middle. I think it's better than the SP trigger set. Okay, fair enough. I think we can keep it in there. I think I think the set was like a little rough on the edges, though. It was it's definitely on the on the low end. I think I think it could have been but a little better. Uh, a little bit more interesting, uh, but uh, people did like the Bob stuff in here. I do now that we're thinking now that they got it more. I do remember people were getting super excited over the Bob stuff. Zorga did come out during the set, which did introduce a new, completely new build for Zorga, which was something new and fresh for people. Shaman King, I think, was a little late, but it's like high mid, high mid, barely touching bangers. So the thing about the set is people of the Shaman King area were like super excited about this set. People are like, oh bonkers over this but it kept getting delayed it was like originally supposed to release like a lot earlier and we got it so late that it kind of lost like all its all its hype 
yeah it came out wait this is another one of those sets that dropped way too late this one i think was had the most delays on it i think it got delayed like two or three times um so record of ragnarok got delayed too record of ragnarok was supposed to drop a lot sooner and that got delayed like we had a lot of delays during this time so i think i think shaman king could have been like a, a, a kind of like a banger set almost if it didn't drop so so late but obviously the cards in there are pretty good the ot was really good had some good decks in it we saw some results too like on the competitive side casually it seemed like people really were hyped about it so like i said not the best not the worst to the trials now the trials are kind of weird i think the trials were good but the i feel like most people are buying them for the element of element the the, the sanctitude basically uh which was good uh and i don't know they're, they're pretty good they have some good cards in them i think i think i think mid is the good spot for them i, th I think mid is perfectly fine uh, just in the middle i think i think they're fine uh we the best worth the worst uh definitely i think in terms of like a learner perspective like someone getting into the game i think these were good at the time i would definitely not tell someone to buy these now because um they're 50 dollars uh at least over here in the english side of things if they're cheaper in your country awesome then they're that they're definitely a little bit better but i feel like if you're just gonna play the game now like today these are bad <laughs> like just especially since some of the stuff this stuff just got reprinted so uh, set, so set six was the youth Berk set the combine rusher set the beginning of frame rares which was definitely a dip in like desire or interest for some people this was when the ratio started getting kind of bad so a lot of interest started getting started getting into it was a weird like interest thing with this one um i'm not gonna lie me personally i skipped the hell out of the set i i had no interest in this set at all i think this is the one set where i didn't buy anything from except the deanthros and even then i did it like over time oh resentments in here pg reprints are in here youthberg is in here um i don't know this did have the over trigger reprints which is actually pretty big and the pgs got reprinted in quotations so pgs were going up in price if you guys remember ot's were definitely up in price during this time and then this for this set did bring in the reprints which i will say already makes it better than some of the other sets we've had in below banger but i'm not gonna lie it's kind of feeling more in the mid area like i remember there was like there was so the thing actually that's a lie i we have to put it in below banger everyone and their mom wanted to play youthberg everyone was like the edge lord i must be edgy with the edge lord i need i need to do the glasses thing i, I gotta play my youthberg <laughs> so <laughs> just because of youthberg alone i think this set has to stay in banger lyrical set three this one's hard so the thing about this one i know has you look at it um the thing about this set is that when it first got announced we all hated it every single one of us hated it and then they started revealing the effects and then we all started loving it and then the nft thing happened and then we all started hating it and this was the one the set this is the first time i heard people want to boycott something by the way um so people wanted to boycott this set and then everyone realized that this set's super fun to play uh, it has really good cards in it the ride lines are actually all really crisp actually At, they're a little behind now by the time they're actually pretty crisp they were good ride lines so yeah yeah this is the nft set um <laughs> So yeah, so this one, this one had a really rocky roller coaster ride, right? Like uh, we, ignoring the car quality for two seconds. This was I'm telling you, this was one of those sets where it went through a lot. This was the drama set. Uh, I know, I know, I know what's notable in here, but you know we got to think about like what was happening before we even bought this set, right? Like like what was the community thinking? And the community was going. This, there was so much drama around this set. It was ridiculous. I do believe that this is a below banger set. As a set on its own, it's amazing. This was one of the best lyrical sets that has come out to this day. I think I think this set beats some of the Bermuda Triangle sets. Like from from oh, like this is one of the best lyrical Bermuda Triangle Nation sets. And the reason being is because it was balanced. It was good. The cards and bo bosses were good. It was just overall a really fun set. Like if you wanted to play lyrical, this was one of the best sets to play on play in. It was so good. Like I love. I think this set was amazing. Uh, so personally. I think below banger is a good spot because of everything that's going on around it along with the nfts and everything i i don't think we can we're allowed to put it in banger i think that would be like an insult of injury to put it in the banger slot so i will say i was not happy about the fact that they dropped six more ride lines after we already got like five we already got six ride lines plus Fortia plus harmonia and then they were under supported and then this thing dropped and it's like here have six more ride lines now we're at 14 ride lines it was way too much way too fast this could have easily been like five ride lines maybe even three or something and they kind of slowed it down a little bit but pacing was a little fast but the decks are cool set seven 
Ah, set seven. What what set seven? I know Eric. I think this is another set I hard skipped. I think I skipped this. At the exception of the flag work support, I think I hard skipped the set. Let me see what's going on in set seven. Ah, the Tempest the set. Ah, I see, I see. I see. I remember this set now. <laughs> I remember. This also had the encounter reprints and Velstra. That's right. This was a. Uh, this was uh everybody else was super excited about this set but me so i'm just gonna leave it to y'all on this one definitely definitely a bullet banger set i think i think opening wise this was this is a blast for people so yeah we'll play we'll play below no one runs was pretty yikes though yeah i mean can't win them all right i mean all right minerva we're slowly starting to get towards like we're starting to you know hit hit comb territory here so minerva's rising this is the chalice set the introduction to regalius piece Set 8 was another banger. I think, I think honestly, Set 8 might have been a banger. I, I remember getting, I remember there's a lot of, a lot of hype. Yeah. Oh, that's right. This is the waifu set. This is the archite set. Oh my God. This is the Ava set too. Ooh, Makani. Oh, Maelstrom dropped in this one too. Ooh, dude, I, it, it feels like it hasn't even been that long. I already forgot how good this set is. All the glitter decks got massive boosts. You're right. Oh my God. This is, this is, yeah. This is a spicy set. I'm not gonna lie, the Rogelius piece was pretty nice too because it was a new mechanic introduced. I think I think for the OGs, this was a really good set, especially to the Zero players. Uh, as you know, Zero art goes crazy. The Lukier Zero art is insane. So very, very beautiful card. 10 out of 10. I remember when this dropped, even me not being a big Lear, uh, Lukier player, I was like, wow, like that look, this looks gorgeous. Like this is a beautiful card. So. Yeah, I think I think they did well. I think this set was perfect. Oh, also the FFRs changed in the set. So I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not a big FFR person. However, this I'm okay with. So the way they did these FFRs is that they had the art kind of going in. Not the best. Still prefer the full arts, of course. But I think I think it was pretty fire. I like I like the way they made these. Jets. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I know we've been in jet meta since basically the release of this thing, which was February. But I think for the introduction of new players playing the game, price wise, I, 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 it's got to go up here. It's it's got to go up there. I know. I know. Uh, this is coming for someone who hates this deck, by the way. I, I, I don't want to play it. <laughs> Why is the place now? From from a standpoint of getting players into the game and price wise and the set itself, including the plaque, by the way, if you get the fancy version and uh, I hate playing against this, so I have to play it. Mid OK, well, we can't look at it like that. It's not just about like playing against it, right? You actually sold your jet. I hate it, but it did have the buy one box and top. Look like I think I think in terms of getting people into the game, uh, this was an amazing set like, yeah. Meta wise, competition wise, very annoying deck. I get it. But introducing the G zone, uh, introducing like just basically different mechanics from what Overdress was already doing for the players that are just D players. You gotta remember, like, we're thinking as players that play the other two formats. But if you're only playing D, this set was cool. This was a cool set for people to try. This set, like, if you, you remember all the box of things everybody did, like, people were hyped about the set dragon tree so this is the beginning of the dragon tree archetype stuff so we started seeing all the all the weird like i guess the beginning of like all the weird stuff i don't know what to call it i want to say it's either here or right here at the very end the reason being is reprints new ride lines support for old decks uh generic support for new decks right it kind of had it checks all the boxes of what you want out of a set right messiah same as jet a banger I think for us, Messiah had a weird delay issue because we had like a, as weird as it sounds, Messiah was way more overhyped in Japan than it was for us. I actually think Messiah is probably in the very top tipsy part of, of here. Uh, now, again, going back to the argument as before, if you're a new player going into the game, this was a really good set to try. Another good set to try. From like a trying perspective, if you're trying to pick up the G-Zone stuff, trying out the Crest stuff, just want something new, don't want to drop like $300, $400, so this is a really good set. This one is slightly worse though than the Jet set. It's kind of like if you're a new player trying to buy into the game and your option is Messiah and Jet, you're going to pick Jet, right? Like I literally like we had, a, we had people come to my locals on Monday, people trying to get into the game. 
and they're like, yeah, yeah, I really want to try a Vanguard. And I was kind of giving him some options, and one of them really fell in love with the Jet Set. They really wanted to try it because they thought the mechanics never cool. They played Vanguard like the first couple of years, so they're familiar with the G Zone. And then, um, and then they're kind of like iffy on the Messiah set, and they're like, okay, like which one should should I get? Orange? Should I get the Jet or the Messiah? And I was like, if you want to have a competitively viable Jet deck, you pick Jet. If you don't care, you pick Messiah. Uh, or pick either, it doesn't actually matter. And they ended up picking Jet because Jet was the better the better option in terms of just everything that was in it and just the, the strength and the viability of the cards in it. Set 10. Set 10 is a pretty spicy set. We're gonna go back here. Just gonna kind of look at it, just you know, just to give us ourselves a reminder. Because it like just dropped like a month ago. It's pretty recent. The introduction to mask cards. Uh, all this other stuff. I think hype-wise, this was a very hype set. This also introduced cycle cards. This was used to mask order. Anime-wise, people are going crazy. I think I think this is the bigger set. I think I think set ten is pretty spicy. The only thing I don't like about some of these sets is that you have like this like you, you have these cool ride lines kind of being thrown in between, and then you have like the power creep of like Jack and Diva and Ava just like saying screw you. <laughs> yeah, Get Diva is not finished of why. It's not that bad. It's not that bad to deal with. It's annoying, but it ain't that bad. And I don't know. I'm I'm one of the few people that I don't really care about facing Gandiva. Uh, they put the starter. I'd rather be Gandiva than Jet. Maybe it's just me. I just I'm so tired of seeing Jet. I'm just tired of the deck. I'm tired of the triple drive. I'm tired of the multi attack. I'm tired of the toolbox. I'm tired of the soul charge. Soul blast two draw card. I'm tired of Jet. <laughs> I'll be real. Um. So. We can rank them just for the shits and giggles. This set is just gonna be in there because we're not getting it, obviously. Uh, Token Rambu, I think, is gonna be in the banger tier somewhere. Uh, set 11 sounds ex so. Set 11 to me feels like what Festival Collection is right now. It's one of those sets where there's a bunch of really cool stuff in it. It's not really doing much, but it's all really cool deck build building ideas and strategies and all this kind of stuff. And I think people are like really underestimating all the small niche text that people are gonna be throwing in. And I think it's going to be a below banger set personally. And then I think these are actually pretty hype. I think these are the better of, of the trial decks. So I think these instantly go in here with maybe the exception of what was it? This one that was sucky. One of these was sucky. Soon. There. We'll just throw them in there. There we go. The cycle cats look good. Yeah, those, we got the cycle cats. Uh, we got a couple things in there that are kind of coming. So it was going to be interesting. And one thing I, I noticed that I kind of forgot about me. Sorry, put some water. So one thing I'm noticing but every single one of these sets with it sets with the exception of collabs and the exception of like maybe one set in here every single set introduced something new which now that i think about it is actually a really cool way that they've been doing it like i never really realized it but if you think about it set one was the beginning right you got the over triggers got the pgs whatever set two introduced front triggers set three introduced crit triggers set four introduced draw triggers like the effect ones right uh set five introduced what do i set five introduced set five brought the first half of the crit set of crit heals then the festival collection brought the other crit heels then we had the chalice which is the first regalias piece that came out right and then like like do you, are you seeing a pattern here like every single set brought in something and then after that we got the other heels the ones that are like uh if your opponent's greater you get extra power right so into like jet it was like kind of useful so attend introduced the cycle cards which was also something new something unused jet introduced the both the driver's license which is the crest piece and then also introduced in the the um the g zone which is new for some people messiah introduced lock which was also new for some people uh set 11 is introducing a lot of weird blitzy stuff so that's like a whole blitz set of its own with a bunch of new set blitzy things in it going on you'll notice like it, it's nice it's a nice ramp up of like new stuff to make to add on to deck building festival collection introduced both new over triggers all with new regalias pieces which also have new mechanics on them so just long story short like i really like the way that d has been thought out as time goes it's one of those sets where it's one of those things where like it's not just the same thing every time kind of how v was because v didn't really introduce anything new it was all kind of the same thing over and over again it's like here's another boss card that multi-attacks 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 you know what i mean it was just like non-stop of the same bullshit it's like oh here's night rose you wonder what night rose does she has five attacks. You want to know what Mordor does? He also has five attacks. You want to know what Shiro does? He has five attacks. You want to know what Harry does? He has four to five whatever guard restrict BS multi attack. You know, it was like the same thing. It's really fun stuff. You'll notice we only really had one really bad set, and we had it had like the Y set. But to be honest, like overall, most of these sets did pretty well. So yeah, I think this is good. I think this is good. A really good, really good progress. And hopefully, we'll just keep seeing this. And one thing I really like is that. 
things are slowly evolving. Deck building is getting more co complex and I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a great time. Yeah, until next time. Bye. Bye, y'all. Stay safe. Stay awesome out there. Pet your cats and dogs and your animals. Yeah, now you want to look. Yeah, now she looks. <laughs> now you look at me. Yeah, you little silly butt. All right, bye, y'all.